Hi, we're now in Malacca and it is in this fine, beautiful, historical state of Malacca that we will be testing our new AX100 from Sony. The AX100 is a 4K camera which means it shoots four times the resolution of full high definition. Um, why I love this camera so much? It is because it's lightweight and portable which means with a small little backpack like mine I can just put this camera in there and I've got all I need to shoot good looking videos. This camera has a very wide zoom range uh, so I don't have to change lenses. Its lens is by Zeiss, beautiful brand. Um, it's got neutral density filters built into this small little body and it's got a one inch sensor over here which gives me very shallow depth of field beautiful images now let's explore this beautiful state together and we'll show you how this camera performs see you soon Now one of the reasons why we're attracted to the AX100 is because of its ability to shoot 4K videos. How do we set up the camera to shoot 4K videos? Let me show you. Open up the LCD panel, click on the menu button over here, and then click on the image quality slash size. Alright, now look at file format over here. We're shooting at AVCHD and that's quite low quality, so we want the best the camera can offer. So we'll click on the file format. And we'll change that from AVCHD to XAVCS 4K. So I'm going to click this. I'm going to click OK. Wait for it to execute. And when it's done, I'll click OK. So we're done. We can actually start shooting 4K. But let us go and have a look at some of the options over here. Now your frame rate is 25 frames. And your file format is XAVCS 4K. Now look at your image size. This means your still photos. You can actually do better than 40 megapixels, so we'll click on the image size. Now the AX100 can give you 20 megapixel photos, and that's really good because it lets you print up to A3 size. It's pretty good. Okay, let's click OK, and we're ready to shoot 4K videos. What are neutral density filters? Think of neutral density filters as sunglasses for your camera. Right now, we have neutral density filter turned on to stage 1. So let's turn it to stage 2. Right? And your scene starts to look a little bit darker and not so overexposed. Let's turn it to stage 3 now. There you go, sunglasses for your camera. Neutral density filters are great when you're shooting in a bright outdoors. And we have three stages of neutral density built into this small compact body of the AX100. And that's a really nice feature to have. In this scene over here, I'll show you how to properly expose your videos using the AX100's exposure controls. Okay, now first of all, this image is a little bit too dark. And by looking at my exposure values over here, I see that they can still be adjusted a lot uh, for an ideal footage. Okay, I'm looking at my gain over here. My gain is at 18 dB and the A icon over here shows that the gain has been set to auto. And also the gain is a little bit too high at 18 dB. So I'll just press my gain button and then I will use the control dial, I will maybe reduce the gain. The higher the gain, the more noisy an image, so I like to reduce it so the image doesn't get too noisy. But because I've reduced it so much, uh, it becomes really dark. So I notice over here, um, I've got a shutter speed of 600. And 600 is a little bit too high for videos, we try to have it at 50, 1 over 50 shutter speed all the time. 
I'll click on my shutter speed button over here. Okay, then I will click on my control dial and move it. Oops, I'll move it. Make it. Uh, I'll make it slower. A slower shutter speed of 50. Now that's ideal. And then I'll look at my iris over here or my aperture. It's at 5.6. Um, I think I want to make it even wider giving a bit more light to the subject over here and also make the depth of field a little bit shallower so i'll click on my iris and then i will open it up okay make the f number smaller okay now it's at 3.1 so i think this image is uh, quite well lit up except for the background which is a little bit too overexposed but at least my subject is well lit up okay next when i look at my three properties over here maybe i'd like my gain to be on auto so to set one of these properties to auto so that i don't have to change it i'll let the camera decide what to do with it or if i'd like my aperture to be controlled by the camera and i'll control the rest of the property myself um, now let's say i want the gain to be controlled by the camera so i will click on the gain button once and a second time now when we see the a icon over here it means that this property is already on auto is controlled by the camera now in this case let's say i want the camera to control my iris so i'll just click on my iris button once and twice so based on the image that the camera sees over here it will decide what values to set for the aperture and again so you control the shutter yourself so i'll click on the shutter button over here and then i'll just adjust my control dial there we go see so that's how we set the exposure values on the x100 very flexible because we can control each of these properties individually from each other when you're shooting 4k videos keep in mind that the older sdhc memory cards are not fast enough to support 4k video recording I have here an SDXC memory card. It's a class 10 U3 with a blazing read write speed of about 95 megabytes per second. This is ideal for recording 4K videos. 4K files are large. They are two times bigger than full HD files. So make sure you have enough hard disk space to store them. And they have to be fast enough for your computer to read them too. I recommend at least a USB 3 hard disk. The AX100 has an impressive zoom lens despite having such a short compact body. The Zai zoom lens can take you from 29mm wide angle right up to about 348mm and that's a really long zoom. You can activate the zoom by pressing the zoom rocker over here or by using the touch screen by pressing the telephoto and the white buttons. If you find that you're not too happy with the internal built-in mic when you're doing interviews, uh, you can always purchase a separate portable shotgun mic. I have here, I can connect it to my microphone port. And I will connect the shotgun mic to my hot shoe. I have a really good audio capturing solution right now, especially for interviews. Uh, the AX100 also has manual gain controls where you can select the sensitivity setting for your microphone. In addition to a microphone port, the AX100 also has a headphone port where I can connect a pair of headphones to monitor my audio recording or to listen to the playback of my videos. If for some reason your audio level display is not visible, you can bring it back out by going to the menu, click on camera slash mic, go all the way down to shooting assist and scroll down until you see audio level display, click on that and then click on. Then you will see your audio level display there. Here I'll show you how to set the sensitivity of your microphone. 
So I will open up the LCD display over here. I'll go down to my menu and then I'll choose camera slash mic. Now I will go all the way down to microphone, the microphone icon over here, I'll press it. Okay, now if you prefer to do things using the auto, go down to the audio recording level, select that and click on auto. Okay, now however, if you'd like to do things manually, go back to your camera slash mic, go all the way down to the microphone icon over there and then we'll go down to audio recording level and then we'll set that to manual and now you can reduce your gain, your audio gain or your audio levels, reduce or increase it and then it will be displayed in the waveform over here or that's your audio levels over here so if I were to tap the mic you can see that it's actually responding so once you've done that, you can also go back to your camera slash mic and choose to activate your built-in zoom mic and set that to on. Are you ready to be amazed? Let me show you a technique you can use with your AX100. It is called spot focus. Now, look, I've got a toy over here in the foreground that is out of focus and instead of having to move the focus barrel, I can go to my menu settings here I can go on to my camera slash mic and then the first icon, click on that and go down to spot focus. When I've clicked on spot focus, I will click on the toy that, or I can click on the subject that I want to be in focus. I'll just click on that and the camera will focus on that particular subject. Look at that. So the toy in the foreground is now in focus and the rest are out of focus. So you've got a very shallow depth of field. The background is off focus. The subject in the foreground is in focus so if i want to focus on the toy in the background i'll just touch and the camera will focus to the subject that i just clicked on this is fantastic spot focus everyone did you know the ax100 can help stabilize handheld videos very well we attached two ax100 side by side and got our videographer to walk while shooting 4k videos Here, we're testing out the steady shot of the AX100 cameras. We have one camera with steady shot and one camera without steady shot. So we have uh, our videographer walking backwards from me. Now let's see how the cameras perform with and without steady shot. We'll see how the steady shot holds up to its name. We can see that with steady shot turned on and set to active, the wobbly footage is smoothened out. It's actually quite impressive. This is good news for videographers who do a lot of walking and shooting, especially documentary filmmakers. It's also for you, vacation people and travelers. What I'm going to show you next is how to set up shortcuts for the commands that you use the most during your shoots. And these are known as my buttons. I'll click on my screen now so you'll see that I have set up three different my buttons over here and they are my white balance, my spot focus and my zebra. To set up your my buttons or your shortcuts, go to your menu, go to your camera slash mic and then I will go down to the last one which is shooting assist. Then I will click on my button. Okay, these are the commands that you're able to set up as shortcut. So let's choose something that is interesting. Okay, I have picture effect here. Now let's say picture effect is something that I use very often during my shoots and I don't want to go all the way down to my menus to search for it. So I will click on it once and then I will choose one of these buttons to locate, one of these buttons to be used as my picture effect. So I'll pick the first button. Okay, when I click OK, now Whenever I touch my screen, you'll notice that I have my shortcut set up there. So I'll click on my picture effect and then I can easily set up so I can easily reach my most frequently used commands. When it comes to low light performance, the AX100 continues to impress us. In this night scene, we could get good details from the shadows. Videos shot in dim lighting will have acceptable noise levels at up to 18 dB. But 
try not to go past 21 dB. Since you're shooting in 4K, your footage will have enough latitude to be brightened up further during editing. One of the reasons why I love the AX100 is because of the tactile buttons over here for the exposure controls. I've got one button for the iris, I've got one button for the gain slash ISO, I've got one button for the shutter speed. And I've got a control dial over here that I can set each property individually. And in the dark, I don't even have to look for these buttons, I can feel them with my fingers. So it allows me to work really fast. Achieving sharp focus is critical, especially when shooting in 4K. A small mistake in focus will result in a blurred image when viewed on large 4K TVs. That's why the focus magnifier on the AX100 is really helpful. I will click on the focus magnifier over here, and then I will click on the screen. The camera will zoom into my image, and I will make sure that it is sharp. If it is not sharp, I will manually adjust until it is. I recommend the AX100 for documentaries and reality shows. Any production where you need to travel light, move fast, and shoot long single clips. The AX100 is not limited to a 29 minute recording like most cameras. As long as you have memory card space, you can continue to record. I've personally used the AX100 to film two seasons of an adventure reality show called Kampung Quest where I directed my team to shoot outdoors and in the jungles at night. The camcorders performed admirably despite the darkness and unpredictable weather. We've come to the end of this tutorial. Thanks for watching. Until we meet again in our next video, remember, gear up and shoot it great.